I also want to talk about bet because um, with Chris, Chris Norton on the on the Wild Show between ten and twelve tomorrow on a, on a, on Thursday that is, he's very organised and he's he's already booked in. Um, and I, sh- I shall book in soon. And um, so we'd, it's already started, although it's in January. It's the 22nd to 24th. And we're, we're going to try and make more connections with, with people in Exeter. It's, it, BET stands for, I'm pretty sure, British Education and Training Technology. And it's always been aimed at schools. But it's um, also aimed at higher education and further education. So th- they've all they've often turned up, but there's there's definite bits, sections of the show aimed at, at uh, universities and colleges. Uh, Ahead by bet is the the name for that bit. So we'll over the next what is it three. November, December, most of January, twenty second to twenty fourth. So there's about three months. So it sounds a bit, bit, bit strange. But um, bearing in mind that John doesn't always arrive for different reasons, I think I think we're gonna, I think over a three month period of time we can we can approach radio in a different sort of way. There may be aspects of of radio that are um, on repeat or edited, remixed from previously and but and, and uh, this is especially so during the winter it only takes rain or mist or something something depressing and travelling about doesn't doesn't come together. I I might I might do the same. We might we might head for pre recorded versions of the um We Don't Know show including visits to to bet on a previous occasion John John is interested well Chris as well in using voice or sound to get around um, Im- image pr- Im- I say imaging problems vision problems um, which is is quite a general issue anyway by the way, Access All Aerials will be on DAB sometime in November. Well, I'll come back to that at some, some, some other point. But what this, what this means is um, I'm, I'm hoping Chris will have something to say about that tomorrow during the Wild Show. But also, I'll, I, do, I do meet John during the week. Um, after about 12 o'clock, he, he's, um, it's much easier for him to, to be... Uh, meeting up so I'll try and get an update on for example the Orcam My Eye device I don't think Orcam are going to be at bet uh, because I can't find them on the list but um, just just for, for new listeners the, 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 Orcam, the Orcam device is very expensive um, there is a cut-down version that that's available for schools for the, you can rent in schools, which is what what shows up at Bet. But the 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 larger one um, is is an attachment to gl- to glasses. It so, it goes on the side of glasses, and it reads, type, or it looks at signs, and then it translates it all into sound and reads it out. Uh, to a headphone set or something close to you, um, but it's interesting. All cam aren't aren't there. Possibly, some of the devices that are more mainstream have, will have the same functionality in them. That's one of the things John's talked about, and Chris also to some extent, is the the the, the history of the screen reader and why Apple has been ahead most of this time.